that song, Ten Guitars. You know the song? Dance, dance, dance to my ten guitars. And they don't care about anybody being asleep or anything. And uh, Nancy Lilly's at the door with a rolling pin. So Seamus says to me, Uncle Jimmy says, isn't that lovely? Your wife will bacon for you at this time. <laughs> That's not the joke. <laughs> so the, uh, Lily's furious and they come in, they have a cup of tea and some toast and then eventually things quieten down after a bit of shouting and swearing and they go off to bed and little Seamus goes home. And then <laughs> in the morning there's sort of there's daggers drawn at the, at the breakfast table and Lily's saying, you're disgusting. Every time you go out, you come in drunk. You need to do something about this. He says, and all night in bed, you're snoring. And when you weren't snoring, you were shouting. You were shouting to somebody, you were shouting, Roxy, darling, Roxy, darling, Roxy, I love you, Roxy, darling. She says, and who the hell is Roxy when she's at home? And he sees Crick, he said, well, that's a horse I put some money on at Cheltenham. <laughs> so they go off and they come back. He, he arrives home that night and she's at the door set again, all the suitcases are there. And he says, what's all this done? She said, your horse rang. <laughs> And that, ladies and gentlemen, is where my mother only needed one joke. <laughs> Here's a little song called Tuesday Night is Always Karaoke. It's for nuns and priests everywhere. And thanks for listening to us, and we'll take a little break, because I can see some of you twitching. <laughs> and people over here nudging each other, saying, how come we got tables so far away from the bar? They'll all be in front of us. The wind it blew cold on the west coast of Ireland. Rita would not go into the water. Picture the scene, mother's father's ice creams huddled around their little sons and daughters. Well, the rain had cut right through me. It kept on pouring down. I found a little hotel bar on the harbor side of town. I said I'll pay for nothing since the tourist is in town. But Tuesday night is always karaoke. Tuesday night is always karaoke. You can try that now. Tuesday night is always karaoke. In an Irish accent. Tuesday night is always karaoke. In a French accent. See, there's only karaoke on in a scroll. The whistles and the fiddles and the bore on stay at home. I never heard a single mandolin or an accordion drone. Cause Tuesday night is always karaoke. Sorry. It's okay, there's not one there, but that's alright. This song was written the day after I met my alter ego sister Mary Joseph Ferguson. I loved sister Mary Joseph Ferguson, but I love nuns in general. My favorite movie is The Sound of Music. My wife, she falls asleep anytime she goes to a film. She still doesn't know what happened to Maria when she left the convent in The Sound of Music. But there was sister Mary Joseph sitting in a bar, on a bar stool, smoking a fag, drinking a Sligo Special. For those of you who don't know what a Sligo Special is, it's uh, one part white lemonade, as they call it in Ennistrone, three parts methylated spirits, one cherry glacé, no olive, an umbrella and a very small potato. Tuesday night is always very okay. Oasis solar rage and down from court climbed up on stage and he could hardly hold the mic for all that brown day. They joined far too late, poor old Sally had to wait. Rita hollered that some words might come in handy. Fathers pushing mothers up against the microphone. Sisters goading brothers, won't you leave the lad alone? And a priest from Nakarara shook his head and headed home. Cause Tuesday night is always karaoke. Boys on your own. Oh, 
Jim sang Carrick Fergus with his eyes shut lots of verses And John, while he passed out at the next table There was smoky mud and sweet with Guinness good enough to eat Jim tried to sing in tune but was not able And people stood on chairs and tables rocking to them all Knocking over nuns and children laughing as they fall And Sister Mary Joseph, she's the biggest drunk of all Those singing nuns adore their karaoke Girls on your own Girls a little sexier now Tour guide singing my way, we all did that stupid dance in Macarena. <laughs> A coach load up from Galway, cut their tour guide singing my way, we all did that stupid dance in Macarena. <laughs> You're now witnessing, ladies and gentlemen. Two ladies, shameless self promotion. In a blind attempt to get into show business. Tuesday night is always karaoke. Did they put you off as well? They've never done that. First sign of a camera and they're up in front of me. Well, thanks for um, staying with us. If you're interested in statistics, during the last 45 minutes, Four men have gone to the toilet. <laughs> and only two women. It reminds me of the advice that my father gave to me when I was getting married. He said, don't get married, son. <laughs> oh. He said, well, if you do get married, get married early in the morning. He said, then if it doesn't work out, you haven't wasted the whole day. <laughs> he said, but if you do decide to get married, he said, don't get married or have children till you're at least 65 years of age. And by that time, you'll be getting up five or six times in the middle of the night anyway. Because Tuesday night is always karaoke. There's a big one in there. Tuesday night is always karaoke. Ten times louder than that. Tuesday night is always karaoke. I'm the finale now. Tuesday night is always karaoke. Hey, someone, Mr. Dick. Bag of mandolin and ukulele, bass guitar. Mr. Anthony John Clark on everything.